Good morning. My name is Joe Cashwell with Rotorcraft RC. This is a case that we did for Joe Vermillion, uh, Mean Joe. This case is fully controlled by the Revelectrics bump controller. So we're going to do a quick little rundown of the Revelectrics bump controller. You've seen this in a couple of our videos. It's an RFID tag. All it is is it's got an adhesive on the back. You peel it off and you stick it on your lipo. This is just a ridiculously <laughs> customized case. We did some stuff that we've never done before, um, as in doing an acrylic push through on the storage door. We had never done that before. We talked about it and, and never really wanted to do it. Um, one of the issues that Chris had to overcome was on the E on Mean Joe, that deck material slides in on that E. We had to order some specialized tooling just to be able to see and see everything that small to get that push through. And you'll see in the video coming up really quick that it's a lot of work. After everything was done, Chris was in there with some micro files, having to file stuff to get everything just to snap together. your tag on you'll hold it up to the bump controller and you're gonna get a beep and it'll tell you that the tag is empty information about the lipo you'll put on the tag and then you choose your preference on how you like to charge this lipo when you bump it after you put all that information into the bump controller it takes just a couple minutes to do it then you'll go back You'll hold it on there and it'll tell you on the LCD screen to hold the lipo there while it burns the tag. What it's doing is it's taking the information that you programmed into the bump controller and permanently sticking it on the tag itself. So if I bump this lipo on this case, it uses all this information. If I bump it on the Revo acrylic case, it uses all this information. Multiple cases, and this leaning more toward the pro guys, if you have multiple cases, it keeps the file on the bump controller. You get about 100 bumps uh, and charges, and it keeps that information on there. It keeps your IR, your charge, how much power you put back into it. It stores everything on a graph. Then you can get an app for your phone, you download that information on it, and actually get a graph. And the engineer, talk to the engineer at Revelectrics all the time. They, he's very intelligent about the hobby itself and about charging lipos and making the electronics. So a lot of the silly things that you don't want to see, it's not even going to show up. Let's go visit Chris and design and build a case.